In this episode, we are going to see uh, how do we set up the pigeon. Uh, this is the client tool that we can use to chat on the like you know dark web, as well as like you know the account that we had created in the previous episode. Uh, so I'm going to show you that, and we are also going to uh, do like a sample chat and some advanced configuration, how to configure this, so like you know to chat on the Tor network. I'll show you everything in this episode. Uh, please hit the thumbs up button like button if you haven't already for the YouTube algorithm It's just going to take a second and it will immensely help me. So thank you so much. All right, let's get into it uh, So previously uh, like in the previous episode we used this 5222.de uh, Like one of the XMPP server we, we saw a bunch of servers here, right? So uh, out of those servers we chose chose this one and we had registered an account here now after you register an account uh, i want to show you how do you actually use it so you can actually chat like you know with your fake identity uh, uh, to different people so for that uh, we are going to use this tool called pigeon uh, now if you are using tails this comes uh, by default on the tails so you don't need to add it uh, like you know additionally the only reason I'm, I'm adding it here on my my local system uh, on I'm not doing on the tails because I don't have like you know good way of recording this uh, video on the tails uh, but yeah it should uh, like the steps and everything should be the same if you use down tails or, or you use it here uh, first of all you can download this one if you don't have it already so you can download the Windows flavor here uh, Linux this is the steps and this is the Mac uh, uh, Mac OS right so that that's pretty much straightforward now once you install it uh, the next thing what you want to do is you want to go into the accounts and then click on manage accounts so when you click on the manage account it will say you have no IAM accounts configured to start connecting with pigeon press the add button below so we are going to press the add button and here uh, first of all, we need to select the protocol. Now you must have he uh, heard about like you know, Bonjour and Google Talk and IRC, etc. Uh, the one that we had set up uh, in the previous episode was the XMPP. So I'm gonna select that one. Uh, then I need to put my username, uh, which I think was this one. Uh, then we need to put the domain. Domain name is the one that, uh, like you know, the server that you used uh, during the registration. In my case, it's 522.de, right? Uh, and here you need to put the same password which you created uh, yesterday you can click on remember password uh, the only uh, like you know the only reason you might want to select this because every time you go offline and, and or log out and log back in it's going to ask for the password so if you are doing it on a tails i think yeah it doesn't really gonna matter because it's not going to sustain it you have to add the account every time the tail boots up like it's uh, as we know it's not uh, it's not persistent uh, here I'm going to going to select this remember password so I don't need to enter it every time and then just hit the add and close this so as soon as you add and everything uh, like you know if everything is okay you will see this green icon where it says available of course just like any other chat mass like you know chatting service you can you can select uh, whatever status you want you can also set a new status so let's just keep right uh, keep this uh, as is right now now one thing uh, we added the account now let's suppose we want to chat with someone so how do you do that so you go to the buddies and then you say okay uh, either you can join a chat like if you find some chat room in the dark web just be cautious on which chat room you're joining uh, but suppose you want to chat with someone so you uh, you put a like you know uh, enter uh, the details here usually what you need to do is you just put their uh, username here so I created one more uh, user for uh, for demonstration. So I'm going to put that uh, user here. Okay, and now we have this chat window open. Now to test it out, let's say hi, right? And now uh, from the other system where I have this running, the other other chat uh, like other account, I'm going to say hello now. So as you can see, uh, we got the message back. It says hello. And then you can also do different thing. You can insert a link. You can, I think, also uh, attach them. So uh, this so far, uh, we have seen like you know how to add account and and how to chat with someone. This is pretty straightforward. Uh, however, uh, the uh, the one part I want to show you right now is, let's go to edit account, uh, and here you can see uh, it's going through this domain, right? And as we have seen before let me 
pull up uh, this window. So this is the clear net domain. So our message are still going through the clear net. We are not taking advantage of the dark web or the Tor network. And what is the advantage here? So suppose if I'm the person chatting here and this is like, you know, the entire Tor network that I want to make sure I want to remain in the Tor network so I can have the highest level of privacy and anonymity. I do not want to get out of the Tor network and, and connect to some like, you know, privately owned chat server like WhatsApp or Skype or Teams or Zoom, etc. Uh, because the XMPP server, all of the ones that, uh, like, you know, we saw here also available on the Tor network, right? We want to make sure we use those uh, rather than going through the clear net. Uh, so what we are supposed, so, uh, so how the workflow will look like is suppose on the third node, like instead of this exit node, you will have the XMPP server. So when you use the chat message using this pigeon, uh, it will travel through the Tor network, it will remain here and then it will come back, uh, the response will also come back. So the entire message will be within the Tor network and, and it's very hard for someone to uh, read that. Uh, like, you know, um, uh, privacy of the chat message will remain as is. And of course, on top of that, you're using the fake identity anyway. So what we need to do instead of using this, uh, we need to copy this one. Let's go back to the pigeon. Uh, yes, here. Keep everything as is. Don't change much here. Go to the advanced and, and say connect server this one. And just hit save and that's it. Uh, I don't think so you'll you'll see any changes or you'll notice anything but uh, of course so as you can see this is like you know uh, also it says require encryption you can also set it up like use old style SSL uh, or encryption if available I'll, I'll obviously select the require encryption so it's easier that our, our, our like you know messages are also encrypted in transit and now onwards all the port and uh, of course this is the port that we are also seen when we uh, selected our like you know XMPP server so this is what it's going to use so I think yeah this is how you can set up and, and chat uh, now you can explore a different chat room maybe like you know you're searching something on the dark web and you you find a chat room uh, you will be easily able to join those chat rooms uh, using this store network and also this uh, particular tool uh, just make sure be aware of uh, like you know providing any information there it might get like you know uh, scary sometimes so just be aware and and use your base judgment uh, but yeah I think that's it for uh, this episode uh, just give me any other tips uh, that you have used like you know while creating the pigeon account or chatting on the dark web please put, put it down in the uh, like you know comment section I've linked uh, all the resources that we have seen today so you can easily download the pigeon uh, if you are not using tails or also uh, like you know connect to the uh, or register one of the XMPP server for uh, for easy uh, thank you so much for your time and I'll see you all next week bye